everybody prowl here and i have a like mind-blowing new tool that will be out soon on bedrock edition to show you guys this is not public yet i've had the pack creator send this to me and let me tell you it can do some amazing things do i have your attention yet first let me show you how it works and then second let me show you what it can do Okay, so Structura, which is kind of what we have right now to pre-plan builds and then more easily build them in our survival worlds. And Super Llama, this is a person I've been talking to and kind of let them know some issues I had with Structura and how it works and like its usability, its functionality. And um, Super Llama has gone and made Hollow Print, and it is still in development, but as you will see, it is pretty close to done, at least to my standards. And I wanted to show you how to use this and what it actually does. Now, if you've never used Structura or seen a content creator use Lightmatica, basically the workflow process is you build something in creative mode. On the Bedrock side, you then have to use a structure block to save that thing. And then in Structura, you to open this third party program, load it in there, do some settings, and then out pops a resource pack, which can be used on any server, any realm, any local world. And it gives you this like hologram, and then you can just build it block by block. When you pull it over into your survival world, you still have to build it and get all of the stuff. It just makes it a little bit easier to not have to do that planning part in survival. So then you could just go through and place the blocks and build the thing in survival. This is big for content creators, especially. I mean, anybody can use it. Anybody can have value in it. But for content creators, it saves a lot of time and ends up with a little bit better results in terms of the final build. So most content creators that you watch do survival content. A lot of them, if not most of them, use something similar to what Holoprint does. But anyways, if I go to upload a file here, let's do farmhouse one. Let's hold down control. Let's select our trading post build. And yes, got them both loaded up. So I don't fully know what everything here is yet. I've only done some messing around the hologram scale. I, I would think I'd want that at 100%. Next is going to be textures. Uh, we're gonna leave these default, but I'll show you what the outline width and the outline color is here in a little bit. Also, I have no clue what these are, but they didn't seem important to me for what I was doing right now. And then when you get to this part here, the end game controls, I'm gonna explain what they all are individually once we actually get in game, but just know that you can actually change what items do the different controls. So by default, you have to have a piece of stone, piece of glass, an iron ingot, any type of plank, any type of log, stick, arrow, and a bone. You see the like light bluish color here is the item name is this or the item tag has this. So in this case, I believe any kind of planks will do the change layer. Any kind of logs will do the decrease layer. Whereas for these, if the item name is stone or glass or iron underscore ingot, it will do those different things. I know when I was doing this earlier, I was having a little bit of trouble with this logs one. So I'm going to change this to something different. We'll change it to oak log. Everything else worked fine for me my last time going through. Spawn animation, you can have that turned off if you want to. I actually think it's kind of cool, so I'm gonna leave it on there. And there's some advanced options here. Single layer versus all layers below. I'll talk about that a little bit later in a recommendation I have for that. And the opacity mode, you can have it be a single option that's just preset, or you can have in-game controls. We're definitely gonna leave this as in-game controls. Um, the metadata section is just for you to name your pack. You can pick an icon for it if you want to. Um, you can put your name in as the author and put a description to it. And if you're using a, like, like a resource pack to make the Minecraft blocks look any different. You can load that here. So the transparent image that we get, the hologram, if you will, will look the same as the resource package you use in game. All right, uh, we don't need to do anything with this. We'll pop something in here really quick. Okay, and now with all that in, we're just gonna hit generate pack. Everything here looks good. I have not tried to do multiple structures in the same pack before. So we're gonna see if that worked or if that threw an error. And I just looked, it did not download the file. So we're gonna have to go back to here and only pick one thing for now. And I'm gonna pick the trading post. Okay, got it set to a single thing. It has successfully downloaded and I can now go through and install the resource pack. And I can either apply this directly to the world or since it's only a resource pack, I can even apply it in the settings and in the global resources. If you're playing on a realm or server that belongs to somebody else, 
then you probably are just going to put it here in global resources like I do with the bedrock guide. If you own the world yourself, you can definitely just go ahead and attach it to the world. That's what I'm going to go and do here. And it is a resource pack. So we will go to the resource pack area. We will go to owned and I'll just look through here and here it is farmhouse and TP. I didn't change the name to it. OK, we've now activated it. I'm going to hit play. And now all of those items that we saw listed in that list, I'm going to go ahead and get those loaded up right now, get myself an armor stand, and then let's show you what this can do. All right, so I have everything set up here. Let me show you how everything works. So first of all, all you need to do is just set down an armor stand, and then that build is going to start filling itself in and building itself. You can see here what my trading post looks like. I thought there was a way to rotate. There's not. Um, I think your rotation would just have to be based on what direction you face the armor stand. Might be a good little thing that we can give as some feedback for the build. But in any event, you can see here, here's the build. This is something I built on the Bedrock Guide world. And this is the build in full. At least one of the biggest problems to me for structure was you, you had limited options in terms of what you could do and you could only do it at the armor stand. And it was only by changing the armor stands pose. Here, we don't have that. We can control everything remotely. So that can be me going through and doing parts of the build and deciding, okay, I just wanna turn it off for a little bit because I wanna see what I've already built or see something else. That can be changing the transparency, which you had to redo the entire pack with Structura. Here, I can either just punch to make the build more like solidly filled. I think that's the full amount right there. Or you can crouch to go backwards. So this is like, this is full transparency. Um, but as you can see, I can go through to minimum and I don't know how many steps there are. Um, and then I can pick the transparency that I like for when I go through and do the build in my world. The main one I wanted to hit on, and this is the biggest one for me, is what the plank does. And this is take you to a layer by layer view. So if I click on the plank here, it's going to give me a small hologram of the build over here. This is the whole build in miniature form. This is so awesome. I kind of just like this to sit around and just look really cool. But in any event, here is the hologram of the build, just one layer at a time. So what I could do is I could go through here and start doing my build just like this, filling in all the pieces as I go to get the build put together per my creative mode build that I did. And then once I get done with one layer, I can then pull out my planks. I don't have to go back to the armor stand. I would still have my inventory full of stuff that I plan on building with. And then I could just switch to the next layer. If you accidentally change too far, you can crouch and hit the button and it takes you back down. And you know that option that I said earlier that was the uh, layer option? We have this, the layer by layer option. And the other option we could have selected was see all layers below, which would basically just mean that I would see every layer below the layer that I've already built. I could see a use case for both. And it's one of my recommendations to Super Llama. Maybe that just be built here in game. So I don't have to select it at pack creation. I, I would like to be able to just tell it right now if I want to see all the layers or not. But anyways, you can continue to work all the way through the build until you get to the very top which this one's actually quite tall there we go we've made our way all the way to the top and there is the full build again let's say this is not in the exact spot that you want it it's kind of annoying to have to keep picking up and moving the armor stand to get it in the exact position well if you go into third person view there's some kind of technical limitation i'm sure I can just simply hit the stick in a direction that I want it to go, and then I can move the build that way. On stream, when I was trying this out, my jaw dropped for a solid like three minutes. When you have something like this, you kind of like want to know, okay, so like, what are all the materials that I need? Uh, Structure, it did have the ability to do that. It put it in a text file on your PC. I don't have to do that here. I just hold the tab button down and it literally tells me the block count of every single block or the size of every single stack of every single material in your entire thing. There's a few placeholders like there's chain and then there's a fishing rod there, but that's fine. That's a little stuff that could be fixed. This is incredible. Now, there's no way for it to give you an item. This on screen display is all you can get because, again, it's a resource pack. They can't like give you something that you can tangibly hold in game to see it. But anytime you hit the tab button, it's right there. And if you are on mobile, you pull like a book out and you can like hit the punch button with the book in your hand and it pulls it out that way too. Again, my jaw hit the floor when I saw this. It is so amazing. Now, there is another thing here that I have a little bit of a problem with for now. 
Um, but I have some like really good feedback to provide a super llama for how this should work. It's the iron ingot, which is validation mode. You're going to see a mess here on screen. Validation mode is basically something that lets you know that you're missing a block right now. What I believe it is doing, it is putting one of these little lines in every single spot all the way through the whole build, top to bottom, where a block is not properly placed. If you properly place the block, it does get rid of the line. So you see that line is gone. There's nothing else that goes there, right? There is this line, this line. So you can get rid of the lines. My problem is it does it does them all the way up. And I, I really don't like that way of it working or wished it was an option. So one of my pieces of feedback is going to be instead of it giving me this line all the way up, maybe instead it makes this block like a transparent red or like, let's say you place down the wrong block. This is supposed to be grass, but instead I put a crafting table. Like, what if it just shaded the outside of this in red to let me know, like, yo, Prowl, that's not the right block. I think that would be super cool. Maybe give me the option of both. I can see a value in having the big crazy line. So that way I can just stand here at the side of my build and see, oh, I missed something way back there. Let me go check it. But at least for a while I'm going through and working, I might actually like to work with it with the validation mode on or I don't know, maybe I'll do a layer and then turn it on and it'd be just, I think, a lot easier to, to visually see if it wasn't the big, crazy red lines. Now, another feature this has, and I haven't quite learned how to use this yet, but it's a feature that exists nonetheless, is if you use an arrow, you can like cycle between different builds, I guess because I don't have different ones loaded here right now. You sh you're supposed to be able to change structures. Maybe you have to have multiple packs loaded and then it'll cycle between the packs. I'm not quite sure how that works because I haven't tried it yet, although we can try it real quick. Hold on. All right, I just activated another a second pack. Let's see what this does. If I place this down, this is the farmhouse build. Yeah, I'm using the arrow and it's not changing structure. Um, it said hit armor stand while holding nothing was another option, but I can't do that in creative. Okay. Yeah, this feature either doesn't work or I don't know how to make it work, but the point stands is there is a plan to have a way to just change between structures. So if you wanted to load multiple, or if you were doing like a really, really big build that one structure block won't hold, you could potentially have one, two, three, four. I don't know. You could have a lot of different builds. just like all here together at the same time to build a huge mega base. And then if you wanted to completely disable player controls, um, you could just put the bone in here. And once the armor stand is holding the bone, I think the way it's supposed to work is, yeah, see, player controls are now not working. So I can just turn player controls off if I wanted to. As you can see, there's some texture errors and some little things that still need to be worked out here. But this thing is absolutely amazing. Again, my mind was blown seeing this. So I'm going to take this feedback to Super Llama. I was so excited. I had to show you guys exactly what this was and how it worked today, because this right here is going to really help change bedrock content creation and just your build flow of people that want to be a little bit more efficient and make bigger and better builds in a more efficient manner. This is going to absolutely change it. Oh, and also we talked about the outline things earlier. See the blue outlines around the blocks. That's what that was in the menu. You can change the size of the outline if you want to, and you can change the color. So that's an option as well. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the sneak peek. Um, once this is fully done and ready to be publicly available, I'll be sure to share it all with you. But thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.